in the ten in his truck drives itself. Guy goes from our cells and the truck follows him. Come doggy, come. And this walk along the truck, it takes maybe 20, 25 seconds for each trash bin. That doesn't sound that much, but if you empty several thousand trash bins in the city, it will mount up. So it's good for productivity. So here we have a win-win-win situation. We have better productivity, better work environment, and better safety. Now you see you press the button on the side of the truck, which makes the truck move to the next trash bin autonomously. And what we are trying to demonstrate here is reversing into a dead end. In suburban areas, there are dead ends, and there are a problem if there are not enough room to turn the truck around. Then you need to reverse either going in or reverse going out, and this can be quite long stretches. And reversing this kind of truck is tricky. The, the, the view behind the truck is not that good. It's, it's actually quite tricky to reverse a truck like this. So it's much better if the truck can reverse itself and he can place himself in a position where he can see what's happening and take according to the uh, actions to what's happening. Now he has emptied the lower trash bin there. He could of course jump into the cab and drive out to the next trash bin in the, if he wanted to. But we want to show you that we can go forward also as well. So, of course, we will drive it in autonomous mode to the next trash pit. So, how does this work? Well, if you look in at the truck, you will see in the corners that there are small black boxes. That's a LiDAR system. The LiDAR system creates a view around the truck. And this view, you can compare to the map that you have stored in the truck and it can position itself with the help of the LiDAR system. But we also have a GPS system that calculates the position. And we can also calculate the system with it, monitoring the speed and steering angle. And we also have an inertial measurement unit that can calculate the position. So we have several different ways of calculating the position in the truck. So we can compare the results to these, all these different systems. And this gives us a good robustness. So, to program this truck, you drive it manually through the area where you're going to use it to register the map and register the route. And then you send it to traffic control, which share it all to all connected trucks. So all trucks can share the same data that one cr uh, truck created. Uh, we also have this, as I said, the security system around the truck. That's also the LiDAR system. It has these dual purposes. It can detect objects and it can also do navigation. And if you look around the truck, you will see that wherever you are, at least two lighters will always see you. Quite often, the three lighters see you. And this gives us robustness. Because we can always compare the two lighters. See. Now we're stopping here behind me. And as soon as the building engines cut out, you're uh, free to come. Meet the Greek world first autonomous review truck. And I will happily answer any questions you have. And um, hopefully you have some questions. So let's go and see. And that's the autonomous review truck from Volvo. No driver, follows the guy around, and that's it.